Welcome to surgery at MidState. The surgical program here is very solid. I'd match this up against any similar institution in the country. We're always innovating, progressing with surgical literature, progressing with treatment um, options and plans. The surgery program here at MidState Medical Center uh, is one that continues to grow, continues to offer new uh, technology to patients and continues to come up with more reasons why patients uh, can always stay here for their medical care. Minimally invasive surgery is here to stay. With the right operation, it cuts down a tremendous amount of time in the hospital. It can cut that down and it, uh, it, it's less painful generally instead of a big incision. It's changed the way we think about surgery. We are living now in, in, in a world, especially in surgery, where there is technology all over the place. The most common minimally invasive procedure that we're doing is a green light laser vaporization of the prostate. The green light laser is a uh, technique that's used to help men with large prostates who are having uh, trouble voiding. It uh, opens up the channel completely and relieves the obstruction that, that the prostate is causing. The more traditional surgery that was available required two or three days in the hospital. These patients can be treated as an outpatient these days. The real advantage is the lack of bleeding. Why do we do minimally invasive surgery? So if you're going to have a lung surgery, you're going to potentially have better survival because you're not putting your bodies through as much stress as you would through a more traditional uh, surgery. Overall, it's a very exciting time for the surgical field. The advantage of robotic assistance is it is allowing me to do even more precise surgery than I could do with my own hands and do it through these very tiny incisions. There is definitely a misperception in the public that about robotic assisted surgery and the feeling that the robot's doing the surgery while the surgeon himself or herself is just sitting having a cup of coffee somewhere. Though the surgeon is not directly at the field, he's always got the control. There are four arms in total, three robotic arms and an arm that the camera is attached to. Once the robot is docked to the patient, the surgeon then sits down at a console. When you're actually inside the console controlling the robot, you're seeing everything around you as if your eyes are right there, as if you're doing an open procedure. This console has both hand controls and foot controls. They're basically extensions of my fingertips, and you put your hands into small pincer handles, and you can open your fingers like you would tweezers, and it moves the ends of the instruments. It's a very natural movement. You're able to go around corners, see around corners, hold tissue in a particular way. It's my surgical skills magnified by the robot and in fact enhanced. The console also gives us an advantage of uh, high definition 3D visualization. If I'm doing an open surgery, I'm only limited to how close I can get because of the sterile field versus pulling up the magnification on the, the robot, so what I see is a is hundred times better than even open. I think the robot allows you to see um, anatomy in a better way, um, so that improves patient safety as well as um, reduces blood loss. The patient's safety is dramatically improved through these type of procedures. Well, it's a bit different for patients because the healing time is much quicker. The patients are up and walking and they use a lot less pain medication they are going to feel so good that they have to remember that they did have a major surgery. I think we're bringing something that's very new and innovative to this area and patients should feel comfortable that they can receive that care at this center. At the end of the day, the technology can only do what uh, we ask it to do. It's the personal contact and the care that is given that really defines us here at MidState. All of our rooms in the hospital are private rooms. That allows for family members to spend time in the room. Also, it's great for infection control. I think the advantage MidState has over these other hospitals is the hospital and the staff itself. Uh, this is a fantastic hospital. There's, there's not a better nursing staff. Great equipment and, and people who know how to use it makes it easy, makes it real easy to work. There's no difference in care, there's no difference in how patients do, there's no difference in survival rates. 
um, on how patients do in this setting versus a big hospital setting. And I think that just the individual attention a patient's going to get here is going to make the difference between choosing hospitals. The personal touch is very important. Uh, different patients have different issues, different problems. I think our patients feel less like numbers um, and more like a part of the family and a part of the group. If I'm trying something new, it has, to be, it has to be beneficial for the patient because the patients who I operate on are my neighbors and friends. So it adds that, more, that level of closeness and also responsibility. We're, we're all out to try to help the patient as best we can.